This should concern. This is a letter from her? This island and its history is a lie. Wow. Well, this is going somewhere. What? What could that mean? I've been compelled by both forces outside my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction... Make forces outside our control? Like... like ghosts or the army or what was she talking about? I don't know. Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons in the notes within. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt! Scavenger hunt! Wait. To whosoever finds the material know that I am discomfited for keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly for the interest of time itself? Oh, <laughs> I've had, oh, I've seriously had like dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Please do not get glassy eyes over this, okay? You, we, do not have to dig up some old lady's recycling. We can just go home. Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees. The sun's out, you know? I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit? The sun is not out. The sun is... I guess it barely came out just now. But see, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was gonna be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? Wait, Michael? Uh, yeah? What is it? What? How? Why am I here? What? You don't want to hang out at the beach? There's stuff in town, but it's all boring knick-knack shops or whatever. No, come on. No, I mean, in this time period. Ah, oh, jeez, you're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. The 70s? It's like the worst time. Where's... where's Jonas? 
Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? You want to know who Jonas is? He's my new stepbrother, okay? Do you... do you get what's happening now? <laughs> All right. Can you just call your new friend your best friend for my sake? Stepbrother's kind of encroaching on my territory there. Yeah, it's like when my mom calls her cat her special little lady. It's like, I'm standing right here. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. This is really quite insane, what's happening right now. I'm just sorry that apparently nobody realizes how insane this is. I know, right? Nobody really appreciates it when conditions are this good. No, it is perfect ice cream and tennis weather. That is rare. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins English. Truthfully, I've, um... I've... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> Can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. So... Uh, <laughs> Do you... Uh, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry, did I forget something? Our whole, like, island horror show. Ghosts and possessions and... And none of this is jarring like anything loose. If this is about Ren's movie, I mean, I told him I didn't want to do it. Half the script was an underwear scene, so, you know, no thanks. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and, like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could, like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I, uh... Totally understand. And yeah, let's uh, do stuff, you know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and... Yeah, well, I love him too. And to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Actually, Clarissa and I had a nice chat while you were away. Kind of sorry to see you back so soon, to be honest. Oh, really? I'm sure Alex sold you on how I lock her in the basement and treat her like a shaved monkey. The version I heard was you trap her in the greenhouse. Yeah, well, it changes month to month. No, it was perfectly fine. Perfectly amicable. Amiable. It means the same thing. All right, sorry. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get, like, a soda. Anybody want anything? Um... Nah, I'm good. Uh, yeah. Get me a drink, too? Sure. I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? I've missed you, man. I've, I've just missed you a lot, that's all. Hey, come on. I've missed you, too. And I know I've been hanging out with the princess, but it's a two-way thing. You can knock on my door. We live in the same house. We gotta bring back movie night and board game night. 
<laughs> All the nights. Yeah, sure. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... But I owe you. Yeah, no problem. Just don't get all smoochy-smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. <sighs> you know what, Bucko? I need it more than you. <laughs> Bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Alex, are you all right? Okay, uh, are you are you back? You've been acting super weird for like the last five minutes. Do 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 you know that? I mean, I let it go for the first two, but Jonas, I just saw. I think I just saw my brother. Wait, what? Where? Here? Is he? Did did you see him somewhere here? I, I was. It was like those time loops we've been experiencing, right? This was. It's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Just now? You didn't die. Did you get it? Did it work? Do you hate me because it didn't work? It worked. It worked. We got the... Well, actually, turned out to be a radio, but... I guess the radio will open this? Somehow? Hopefully. Give it a whirl. Please have a boat, please have a boat, please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Ad... How did she get so rich if she was just like a communications person or whatever in the military? I think I said when we got here, her family like owned part of the island or something. I think she just inherited a lot, honestly. There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's, like, a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. And here's a combination for a padlock to a... Chest is all it says. 29, 18, 54. A chest? Have you seen one yet? <sighs> Negative. But maybe I just missed it. She made a lot of... What should I call these? Slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? Uh, 
Oh. Oh, it's like a it's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not it wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No, we checked everything. Huh. Well, uh What's plan B keys? They they have to be in the house for the movers or her family, you know? That's as good a guess as any. It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. That is a nifty gizmo. Finally. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have, like, a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? Where? In the back. In the kitchen. I don't believe you. These windows don't even... They don't work like that. How would you know you've never been here? Look, Clarissa's here, so everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just... Find the keys to the boat, or a phone, or whatever, and just find a way home. I promise, we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Yeah. Fine. Okay, let's focus up. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. How are you doing? How are you doing? I think about as bad as everybody else right now. I feel like I've been run over with a truck. With uh, acid wheels, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's pretty much been the slogan of the night. We'll make shirts when we get home. We'll be okay. Oh, it's a, it's a draft of her letter that she left in the office. To whom it should concern. She left notes everywhere, she said. Hidden with secret signals. She was an odd one, I'll give her that. But, you know, cool in a way. No, I think it's pretty cool, actually. I, I could see myself doing something like this for the... the people I leave behind. Well, leave a cheat sheet for the laziest of us, okay? Wait, have you seen this? It's like a, a star map or a diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? It's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for a job. Or maybe they were back then, what do I know? Well, she was an amateur astronomer, probably. <laughs> what, like she cared if you were a Scorpio or something? I thought that stuff was after her time. That's astrology, not astronomy. Oh, yeah, that fits the description better. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. This might be the, um, the chest that takes that combination. 29, 18, 54. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. We think that means she couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? I don't know, something about... ELF transmitters or the submarine's ways of communicating? Um, you can just say you don't know. That's okay. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Perfecto. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? I got the keys. They were in the attic upstairs. In a chest, but who cares? Let's just go. Alex! Oh, Alex! Come down here, please. Yes, 
something we want to show you. <laughs> Clarissa, what's going on? You're confused. Nona, come on, honey. It's time to motor. Ren, come on. We got a boat to catch, buddy. Jonas, I, I really need you. Don't blank out on me now. Ah, there you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Training? I, I don't want to be trained. What are you... You signed up for this, Alexandra. Is possible. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. How was I meant to know what the hell was gonna happen? And yet, without understanding your footing, you still acted. But don't worry. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house, and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humor as- I don't wanna play this! Just tell me what's happening! Refusal to cooperate will incur grim penalties, I'm afraid, but it's your choice. Now, let's start, start with a softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So, ten, nine, eight. Is it... are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. The, the older models have been the x-rays. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation in another sense. Pay attention. What are you even talking about? I spy. With my little eye, a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh, Alexandra, what a disappointment you've turned out to be. Jonas, come on, snap out of it. Oh, your new brother. Where is he? Where'd you take him? Don't you mind, but let this be a teachable moment for you. It's time for the bonus round, Alex, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. The, the picture of... of... I guess it's Maggie, Adler, and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Mark Adler and her friend Anna. You see, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing... Well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Anna tried to... sport with us many years ago, and... Well, only one survived. And in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time. And a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Okay, if we... if I help you, will you stop whatever it is that you're doing with my friends? Ah, uh, well... There's the rub. The not, not an eternal, eternal recurrence. recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use them to absorb, to absorb into your friends so as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. <laughs> You can't do that! Think about what you're doing! We can do that, Alex. And what it seems your parents as 80 years has been for us eons to know an existence without life. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here, on the island. And it will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. You... You had your time. You had your time. Don't take ours just because you had some... some accident. We never had our time. It was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception fly to its demise over and over and over again. When our vessel dashed on the rocks, we had until dawn, and so are you. We would spend that time wisely, and... We thank you for your good service. 
So, I'm kind of screwed. Just don't try and influence Michael. He can live his own life. Okay, seriously, who are you? So we can go on. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Uh, what? Uh, I wish there was like just something here that explained what the crap she was up to. Maggie, forget about it. It's a dead end. Yeah, like just give us a clue. She knew about some of this stuff at least. But does anyone recognize who this is? I think her name's Anna? Nope. Never heard of her. No. Uh, no. Me neither. She was a... a friend of Maggie, I think? I don't know. The... the ghost just pointed her out. anyone buy the whole eternal recurrence thing? Literally? No idea what you're talking about right now. Yeah, what's that again? Is that like reincarnation? It's when... It's the idea that if time is infinite and matter is finite, then everything will eventually repeat in the same exact pattern again and again. I subscribe to whatever snake handlers believe in, so... Want to see if it'll start? Uh, not really.
Be careful, that film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha ha. All right, there's already something in here. Experiments and Findings of Experienced Phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh man, if this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos... Yeah. I'm sure this is just the, uh, opener. You can, uh... Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. Brilliant! Is it? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself? Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's... that's going a little above. Above and beyond. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's, like, scary. Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Oh, sorry, this is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See? It says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the Capard station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. All right, but come on, Nona, do you honestly believe that the old equipment in either building will still work? It's, I don't know, but it's the only thing we have so far. And time's a-clickin'. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Uh, actually, I've been with Jonas kind of all night, so if anyone wants to switch up the batting order, I wouldn't exactly be... Yeah, obviously Alex is getting, or has been, sick of me for a while now, so for civility's sake... Don't be like that, Jonas. Come on. I'm just... I don't... <sighs> if you really want to split up, it's fine. I mean, we can... No, no, this is fine. I mean, why mess with success, right? 